In my practice, I believe that skin care is very important. Although not all patients decide or opt to get involved in it, we found that it really helps the longevity of the results. A common question to me is how long is my facelift or thread lift going to last? And part of that's got to do with the individual's own genetics and lifestyle, but a lot of that is how they take care of it afterwards. We have a number of patients whom you'll be able to see uh, that have actually improved the results of their rejuvenation procedures by having skin care. And by skin care, I mean photofacials, uh, blue peels, pigment peels, and things like this that will maintain the, the quality and the blood supply of the skin. The main grouping of non-surgical uh, types of rejuvenation procedures include uh, primarily the injectable materials as well as some non-invasive laser treatments and radiofrequency type treatments. The injectables can be grouped into what we now call a liquid facelift in which the patient gets a combination of injectable materials which would include Botox, a hyaluronic acid compound such as a Juvederm or a Restylane, combined with another longer acting material such as a Sculptra. But the whole point here is once you've given the patient the Botox, the muscles that animate the face are relaxed and those animation wrinkles go away. And the deeper lines and creases that can be immediately corrected are corrected with the Restylane or hyaluronic acid, whereas the other materials like a Sculptra take a while to build up the collagen. So you get an immediate result and then a prolonged result because some of the materials are approved by the FDA to be effective for up to and in some cases longer than two years.